now that Caleb Williams is gone, I need you to make a really important decision. You are Locked On Trojans, your daily podcast on the USC Trojans, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Fight on, everyone. I'm your host, Mark Culkin, and thank you for making Locked On USC part of the Locked On Network, your first listen every day. Whether you're going to watch the show on YouTube or wherever you want to download your podcast, Always remember, this show is free, and never forget how much I appreciate your support. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. New customers, join today, and you're going to get $150 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins. Visit FanDuel.com forward slash locked on to get started. All right, here we go. With Caleb Williams, he's off to the NFL. We know he's going to be 1A or 1B in the NFL draft. If you, uh, if you're my everyday listener, you checked out yesterday's episode of Locked On USC. That makes sense too. So Caleb is gone. We know that he will not be USC starting quarterback in 2024, and that's not what this question is about. The question is, I need you to tell me who is the best player on the team now. I'm not talking the most exciting. Uh, Caleb Williams last year was both the best and the most exciting player. Zachariah Branch is going to win that argument 99 times out of 100 as far as the most exciting player. I don't know. Maybe the answer is Zachariah Branch. Maybe he is both the best and most exciting player. But again, let's open this up. Let's open up the table for discussion. Who is the best player on the team? Does it come down to which player can the team miss what the least? Um, you know, that was one of the things that made Caleb the best player on the team. You take him away, and who knows what eight and five turns into last year. So, for example, uh, as dynamic as Zachariah is, can the offense still be successful without him? That doesn't answer the question, but you, you do lose a you know a pretty special piece. Uh, that not many other teams around the country have or come close to having. So while Zachariah is the most exciting and, you know, explosive, he probably deserves a different category. Uh, we know we can return kicks on special teams. We know we can catch passes. He's been a little bit more consistent there. He was a freshman last year. I'm sure uh, some growing pains. Uh, I'm sure he could also line up at running back if he wanted him to. But there are other players who can do those things, just like Zachariah King. Maybe not as well, but they can do them. So, again, we're going to throw Zachariah Branch. We're going to put him on the table. Is he the best player on the team? He sure he can do a lot, that's for sure. Is Bear Alexander the best player? His, his impact on the defensive line is it's required, it's necessary. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else on the roster right now who can do what he does or uh, tries to do. Even when he was double and triple teamed last year, um, you know, his impact was, hey, if he's gobbling up extra guys, other guys need to be able to shoot the right gap, make the tackle. It didn't happen. But, you know, that was a lot of that. He played a big role in making other players around him better. So, and then when Bear did win those battles, you know, he, he was Captain Chaos. He was a disruptive player. So I think he definitely belongs in the discussion. It's hard to be considered the best player on your team at that position, defensive tackle, unless you are Aaron Donald, which, hey, I asked the question on, a, on an episode not too long ago, who was this year's Aaron Donald? Eric Henderson is now the defensive line coach. So let's put Bear Alexander on the table, too. Eric Gentry is by far. <laughs> uh, I think he's USC's most unique player. Uh, he makes throwing lanes so difficult um, in the intermediate uh, passing route, you know, in the intermediate throws, linebacker level. And if you do want to put him on the outside, Maybe, you know, weak side linebacker, 
or maybe even put them in a rush end for a package. He's kind of like Gumby. You know, you can the way he can bend around the edge, get to the quarterback. I, again, I don't know if he qualifies as the best player. He's 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 one of the most unique um, players, not just on USC, but maybe in the country. You don't find guys with his ability, his size, who can do the things he does. Now, I think this is going to be answered pretty quickly. In my opinion, this is going to be answered pretty quickly. But Jacoby Lane might be that guy. I mean, he is so freaking good. Um, and, and here's why. Number one, you can't teach six foot five and bouncy and Velcro hands. You have you have to kind of be born with those things. His confidence level right now, it's unmatched. I'm going to put Jacoby. Yeah, we're going to put him on the table as well. He, I think we're going to find out if, if he's that guy. Like, oh, you know what? He was, of the four freshman wide receivers that came in last year, he was the least heralded. He might pop to be the best of the group. Like I said, we'll find out quickly this year. Miller Moss, he doesn't need to be the best player. He just needs to be Miller. Throw four to six touchdown passes per game. So I'm not going to put him in the group. But he is a vital player. You know where I stand on this. I think it's his job to lose. Jaden Mayava is coming in to, to challenge for the starting quarterback position. But look, he's scared. Will Howard away. Miller Moss is the man. We can pick and choose players all day long, right? But for sure, without a doubt, Jonah Monheim has to be at the top of the leaderboard. The guy can play left or right tackle. You can also play both guard spots <laughs> proficiently. And now he's, you know, he's going to be asked to be the guy to play center this year. Jonah is USC's best player, even if he isn't needed at center. When your coach knows that you can start at any of the other four uh, positions on the offensive line, with the snap of a finger, you're good. I mean, that's rare. Not many players on a roster can play four different positions. And when you're playing the offensive line, those are four very different positions. Uh, depending on which side of the ball, which side of center you're lining up on, your footwork is different. The muscle memory. It, look, I'm putting Jonah right up there. He is the best player on the team. So you've got Jonah, you've got Eric Gentry, Zachariah Branch, Barry Alexander, Miller Moss, Jacoby Lane. Who did I leave off the list? Should I, should I give Makai Lemon an, an honorary shout out? He can play both cornerback, cornerback, secondary, wide receiver. He's going to play wide receiver. He showed why he's probably going to play wide receiver in the Holiday Bowl. Give him a crease. He's going he's gonna to turn uh, passes into big yards, big gains. So like I said, who did I leave off the list? I'm sure there's a couple of other guys out there you want to suggest for best player on the roster. Hit me up in the comments section, you know, you know where to find me. By the way, you like what you're, like what you're watching, like what you're hearing? If you're on YouTube, do me a favor. Keep this channel growing. You're doing a great job. Become a subscriber if you haven't already. You're the Hulk. Smash the thumb. Hit the bell notification button. That way you won't miss one episode five days a week. Passion, drive, and patience. That's what brings home the winning trophy. It's also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. 
with over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay Motors, excuse me, eBay Guaranteed Fit. Only available to U.S. customers. Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, covering the top sports stories of the day with the local experts of Locked On, plus our national shows covering every league. Go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. This is a quote. You'll remember this day. I promise you, every time you walk down that tunnel pregame or you run up that tunnel at halftime, you will remember this day. End quote. The football team right now is putting in some dog work this offseason. Hashtag dog work. Lots of running, lots of lifting. They're in the weight room. Lots of eating. Wash, rinse, repeat. That's what they're doing. They're lifting, they're running, they're eating, they're sleeping, they're going to school, they're waking up, they're doing the same routine over and over and over again. The other day, uh, Coach Riley, was, he was the guy who was who literally kind of broke the team huddle uh, before each position group started their Coliseum run. That's what this is all about. Coach Riley, um, getting the guys hyped up. It started outside the peristyle, and then it was time to uh, basically count the Coliseum steps, each one. You may have seen the, uh, the the social media hype video that USC released earlier this week. Each position group um, does some mat drills, you know, drop, roll, crawl, and then they get up and they, you know, they run by their own position group, their their own position coach. And as they enter into the peristyle, um, there's Coach Riley right there at the top where the Trojan block starts. I love that Coach Riley is the last person these guys are going to see before they attack the old gray lady. Like, look, the cameras were on, but you really, you cannot fake the type of enthusiasm that these young men were showing, that the coaches were displaying. Can't fake it. Real recognizes real. And I also love the mindset that comes from days that they will remember. Basically, the, the guys are about to take on one of the toughest tests, tests of endurance that the coaching staff asked them to do during the offseason. And that's run the Coliseum, the stairs, every one of them. Starting with section one, going all the way around. Section 28. Yeah. So they, they were doing it by position groups. And look, the guys who are returning, they, they knew what it meant to finish. Think about it. There, there's some guys who, this is their third time having to do it. The new enrollees, the transfers, you know, they had to find someone in their position group that knew what it was like to lean on. They had to finish. Quote, you will remember this day. <laughs> every game, every time they come down the tunnel, in uniform, ready for battle, getting ready for that game, they're going to see the, that the peristyle. They're going to see those stairs. And they're going to think back to a day in March. Pardon me. And they're going to say, we ready. We ready. Remember, practice is supposed to be tougher than the games. And while this isn't exactly football practice, again, this is a test of endurance. Um, I've, I've tried to do that. Look, I've done two sections on my own one day. 
I, I look, I understand those young men are in great shape. I don't care how good of shape you're in. That is a tough ask. And that was before they uh, they put up Pack Tower on the uh, on one side of the stadium where they reduced some of the stairs. So again, we want practice to be tougher than the games. That's what they're doing during the off season. Jamil Muhammad, he had a nice little cameo one-liner in there as well. Uh, he said, you don't think we're coming? Man, you crazy. Don't. I know there's a lot of fans around the country who are um, underestimating this team this year. That's fine. Keep it up. USC, as an underdog, chip on their shoulder. Yeah, I'm taking USC. And let's not forget, Jamil is one of the uh, transfer portal players who made the transition last year. He came from Georgia State, came to USC, and he was also he was a quarterback at Vanderbilt before he transferred to Georgia State. This is so. This would be Jamil's second time he's doing this. He's he's a team leader. Again, I'm not going to be shocked if he's a team captain this year. Now, the team isn't just restricted to the weight room and running the cement stairs. They get a couple days off. They're also making memories at the beach. That's just one of the advantages of USC's location, the weather. And I look, it's it's actually raining outside while I'm recording this show, so it's a little bit of it's a little bit of it's a little ironic. But while the Ohio State Buckeyes are practicing throwing the ball, passing, using their indoor facility for spring camp. USC, they're doing their own hashtag dog work at Malibu, on the sand, with the Pacific Ocean in the backdrop. Yeah, life is really rough at times. I'm going to throw this out there. This is why the, the whole weather factor is so overblown. Let's not act like those cold weather teams Practice outside when the weather is bad. They don't. I, I hope these guys remember that day where they had to run the Coliseum stairs and how hard it was to finish touching each step, running up the ramp to the locker room, running back down, putting in the legwork, the determination, having your teammates pulling you through. You know, again, that leave no man behind mentality these are the days you know when a team comes together when they really that that camaraderie they form uh, they just come together i'm trying to think of an old cartoon um well you guys wouldn't even remember it so never mind anyways um sometimes you have to even hold up a player you know hold them up if they're puking make sure they don't fall over it's on days like this and as I said, there's a handful of players who this is their third time that they're going through it. it you would think it gets easier the third time around, right? <laughs> and, you know, I, th I, I thought it would be funny if the coaches had to do it. I'm thinking, what are the players thinking watching Lincoln Riley or Josh Henson or Zach Hansen? He's a big dude. Some of the bigger coaches trying to do this. Well. This is what I found out. A few of them ran up and down the tunnel ramp a few times, but that was about it. <laughs> and you know what? I don't blame them. Like I said, I've done that touch every stairs a couple times. Section 13 and section 14, which are the end zones. It'll take your breath. And it's not at altitude either, so there you go. You know what I like about Fire TV? You can turn on your smart TV and it's already there. Or you can plug in the Fire Stick into the back of your TV and you're fired up, ready to go. Easy peasy. Fire TV is your destination for sports. From live games to highlights to in-depth analysis, Fire TV offers amazing viewing experiences with smart TVs, as well as the Fire Stick, uh, that you can plug into your uh, existing TV that provides access to millions of movies and TV episodes, plus 
free live TV, whether it's opening weekend for baseball or the college basketball tournament, you're going to want to have Fire TV. Do you know that Fire TV recently created Fire TV channels to deliver a constant supply of the latest videos from your favorite sports brands all for free? That includes all of us at Locked On and most of the big pro leagues and college conferences as well. Fire TV channels let you dive into all the game analysis, highlights, and more. Keeping you up to date on all the latest in the world of sports, March Madness, NBA, Major League Baseball, and a lot more than just that. Check out Fire TV, Cham Fire TV channels on Fire TV and Alexa devices. If you haven't checked out Fire TV channels, you should. Trust me on this. Learn more. Visit www.amazon.com forward slash locked on fire TV. All right. It's transfer talk time, transfer portal talk time. We, I've been, you know, leading up to spring camp, doing my favorite recruit of the week segments. You know, I'll talk a little bit about the guys who have just transferred in. Who's going to make an impact? Well, how about John Humphreys and Kamari Ramsey? Look, they're going to go through their second slow install in as many years. <laughs> the two former UCLA Bruins. Um, they're going to, they're, they have to go through the same, well, they're going to be working with the same guy, Coach Danton Lynn, uh, and who made them methodically <laughs> learn his defense across town the previous year. And that's kind of advantageous for each of those guys um, because they're going to be competing for playing time this year. They know the defense. and But it's also advantageous for Coach Lynn, who has a couple of on-the-field coaches now who can help the other guys learn slowly. Remember, Coach emphasized it's going to be a slow install. And that got me thinking. I My head's always spinning in there. I don't know how many of you, uh, did you ever watch the old TV sitcom uh, Taxi? Danny DeVito, Christopher Lloyd, the professor from Back to the Future, uh, one of the most beautiful women in the world, Mary Lou Henner. Anyways, go look. I need you to go look it up on YouTube when you're done watching this episode. Type in Taxi Slow Down Scene. I dare you not to laugh. Okay. Now, after you've watched it, it's about a minute and a half, two minutes. You're going to be crying because you're laughing so hard. I want you to picture Danton Lynn asking his defensive players questions like the character Jim Ignikowski every time they make a mistake. I'm telling you, it's one of the funniest scenes ever on TV. And that's kind of what I envision with this whole slow install thing. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, each time, slower, slower, slower. So you're going to have fun with that. Enjoy. Look, obviously the two former Bruin transfers um, have the inside track with uh, with the install. They know it. You, you combine their snaps, there's over 1,200 snaps of college experience with those guys. Uh, so far, one thing no one should argue. Makai Blackman in 2022 and CRW, Christian Roland Wallace last year, were great transfer portal pickups and made an immediate impact. I have a feeling 2024 is going to be pretty good too when it comes to the secondary. And not just one guy. Like I said, you got John Humphreys, you got Kamari Ramsey. Don't forget DeCarlos Nicholson, the other cornerback transfer from Mississippi State. He's got over, I think he played over 500 reps last year. Or in his career. Regardless, he's got a lot of experience under his belt. If these guys are ready, and they should be, and Jacoby Covington, another transfer, who just needs to stay healthy, if those guys are ready, the starting secondary is going to be all transfers. Very possible. And, you know, don't forget the other guys that came out. You know, which one or 
or multiple guys, hopefully, that will have an immediate impact this spring. You've got the, the two brothers from Oregon State. They've got a ton of experience under their belts. Safety, Achille Arnold. You have his brother, linebacker, Easton Mascarenas. Hyphen Arnold. Uh, these guys were all conference selections. Yeah, th these are guys that are coming ready to contribute right away. Uh, Easton, uh, he's going to push Mason Copper, hopefully team leader in tackles. What about up front, though? Bear Alexander, he came in last year and did some damage despite being handicapped by scheme and maybe even talent playing next to him. What should so what should we anticipate from fifth year senior transfer Nate Clifton from Vanderbilt? Well, he was named team captain last year. And what he's six foot five, two hundred and what? 260, 270 pounds, somewhere roughly in there. Uh, he's versatile. Coach Lynn likes guys who he can shuffle and keep out on the field depending on, you know, the situation. He doesn't like to substitute all the time. Again, six foot five, 280 pounds. Uh, Nate Clifton has that versatility to play both inside and on the edge. Big defensive end. And then you've got that Mike Patterson clone that they brought in. Six foot one, 330 pounds. Isaiah Rakes. Nose tackle. The guy you want to put right next to Bear Alexander. He needs to be a quick study. He needs to make an impact. And you know what? I think that might even help Anthony Lucas as well. And here's why. That might motivate Lucas, who... You know, he came to USC last year. He's from Texas A&M. But, you know, when he when he arrived from College Station, we, we got all the hype from spring camp, but he did nothing last year when it was his turn to play on the field during the regular season. So that, there you go. Those are the guys that I've got picked through the transfer portal this year that are going to uh, come in right away, make an impact, have to. And again, even with the slow install, these guys know football. It's going to be interesting to see how slow they can go. Um, how much, you know, can they be patient? And again, in, in the case of Humphreys and Kamari Ramsey, they're going to be able to maybe help speed the process along because they know it. I don't know how slow they want to go. All right. There you go. Another episode of Locked on USC in the books. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again with another episode tomorrow. I'm probably going to have a, a review of the USC men's basketball game. I'm going to get you set up with some uh, some more names of recruits who are coming for a visit because they're lining them up. They are lining up. They're marking their spot. So until then, everyone. Now that you're done watching Locked on USC, your first your first watch, your first listen every day, go check out that two minutes on YouTube and then head on over to wersc.com and go check out some of the other content we've got going for you. So until then, everyone, you know what to do.